Sacred Heart's unique in a lot of respects. Biggest thing that you hear is this actual problem-based learning model that's here. And problem-based really gives the students an edge on that communication and speaking with others and getting comfortable with finding the material on their own and being able to learn and get those aha moments as they go through the material. So we have something called tutorial where we get um, kind of mock cases that we break down and basically our job is to figure out what we don't know and what we need to know and kind of problem solve to get to an answer. So it ends up being a beautiful thing when it's less of a lecture, less of a traditional lecture, and more of an erudite conversation or dialogue that we're able to have with the students. So I think that that has really prepared me for clinical um, to be more independent. I'm in the textbook, you can learn all the different, you know, examination strategies, intervention strategies, but you don't really get the actual patient-centered um, focus. And that's something that this problem-based learning really hits home on. But you enter health professions because you're a caring and compassionate individual. We have a thread throughout our curriculum of professionalism, of service, and of compassion. Students learn best by the experience, so we bring a lot of patience also into the classroom setting and our faculty continue to practice in those settings to actually make connections with patients to bring them in so students have that, that experience of seeing how individuals typically present rather than just working with their partners in the labs. We really put the patient at the center, um, so it's never uh, a MS patient, a multiple sclerosis patient, or the, the stroke victim. It's always Mrs. Smith who had a stroke. Those patients were awesome. They came in and they were so open and showing us like what their day in the life uh, was and that was something I, I kind of hold on to and learned a lot from. It's invaluable. There's no way to replace um, having a patient in front of students. I'm proud of how that interaction takes place. This becomes a family. You know, you, the students come into the program and they're here for three years and it's very close-knit in that cohort that they're working with. Your passion and motivation is really what drives you and seeing a vision of a patient that you're going to help at the end of the tunnel, having that passion and that drive to help that patient is really what's going to push you through. A doctorate program is a doctorate program. It's definitely difficult at times, but seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and helping people as your main goal is really what helps drive you through. The faculty truly are caring and compassionate and they make every effort to make sure that the students are getting what they need so they, they meet their end goal of becoming that competent PT and passing that licensure exam and getting out into practice, but they do it in a way that is very caring and, and personally oriented to that individual of what they need at the time that they need it to help them make it through. We have the best technology. This building is amazing, but most importantly, we have great professors who are passionate about their students, they're passionate about their patients, and it really shows to us, and I, would, I love being a part of this program.